Hey, Mac Dowen here. Today we are taking a look at Double Agent Wildcard, both of them. This is a duo mode legendary series set from Jazzwares. I ordered these figures from Walmart.com for $34.97, and this is a great looking presentation for these figures, I think. Anyway, I really like this duo mode. Anyway, let's take a look at the back of the box. Across the top is the quote, Double Agent Wildcard. Everything according to plan. Down near the bottom is the cross sale. We are looking for every single one of these figures. And for those who want to see the barcode, here it is. It's time to get these figures out of this box. If you are new to the channel, welcome and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your epic account. It's McDowan. Double Agent Wildcard is an epic skin, and he's part of the Double Agent set. Released in Chapter 2 Season 3, this skin is part of a special limited time set that can be purchased from the in-game shop for 2,500 V-Bucks when available. These figures are about 6 inches tall and look like this next to several other Fortnite action figures. Now let's take a look at the pile of accessories they come with. They come with the Gold Crow Harvesting Tool. It's just like the crowbar, except for it's a gold bar with black straps around it. Very nice. The Shadow Blades Harvesting Tools. These are pretty cool looking. I like the gold and the black looking. Yeah, I think these are really nice looking. Two Double Agent Hard Case Back Blings, the Ghost and the Shadow version. Though these are very nice. Uh, got the pegs on this side. The cuff is loose up there. This is a repaint of the cuff case from the original wild card. My Shadow one over here has some gold splotches on it, so I don't know. It's just a little bit of a production thing. And the bottom of the white one, the ghost one, has this text on the bottom, whereas the shadow one does not that I can read. Anyway, cool little cases. I like the colors of these a lot. And we get a couple of drum guns. These are really cool. I'll put one down. We can just look at the one. I like the gold top and the black handles and the silver drum. Best I can figure is this looks a lot like Jules' uh, drum gun. And so uh, maybe these were included because of the coloring, the matches their coloring pretty well. But could that mean, is there any small possibility, any small chance we could get a six inch Jules figure before the end of the Legendary series? We've only gotten, what, two female figures so far? We need so many more. And I'm really disappointed in Jazzwares that we haven't gotten more female figures, and I'm going off on a tangent, and I apologize, I don't mean to, but this drum gun makes me think it's Jules' drum gun. I really like the look of it, though. It's a great looking gun. And to be expected when you get any tall wild card figure, we get faces. So let's take a look at them. There's the heart one, there's the club one, and there is the spade one. We got the same for the shadow figure. Here's the club face, here is the heart face. And the spade face, they both come with diamonds attached to their heads right there. Both of these figures have 40 points of articulation, and they are simply repaints of the original wild card from back in Wave 1. Not in too fancy, I mean, well, okay, there is some fanciness, there's gold and, and so forth. But anyway, let's take a look at the articulation. I will use the shadow version because I have a white background and this guy should be able to stand out pretty good from that background. All right, so the head rotates all the way around quite well. Head goes down, head goes up, very nice. Arm rotates at the shoulder, lifts up at the shoulder, goes up about that far. He has a bicep rotation, double pin at the elbow, right there, a rotation and a hinge at the, at the ankle, the uh, wrist, and the wonderful, exciting finger hinge. He's got the torso wiggle. His waist will rotate, but you gotta grab all of this to do it. He's got a nice soft rubber coat. I know it's not articulation, but just for fun, let's take this off because I've been wondering what he looks like with it off. And I think it actually, would, he actually looks kind of cool when you take the coat off because it looks then like he's got a black shirt and too bad they didn't actually paint the shirt portion black then this would all blend together, but he still looks not so bad. Not too bad. If you want him to do the splits, well, after... Hey, look. Look at that. The leg just broke off, I guess. Uh, shadow is not my favorite. Wow. 
the leg just snapped right off. I don't think I, I did anything crazy. All right, off to the side. We'll continue on with Ghost. <laughs> the, the leg will, he can do the splits that far. You can rotate the thighs quite well. Uh, double pin at the knee. Ankle rotation, oh, actually boot cut up here. There's no boot, but it's on the leg. The ankle will rotate and up in, up in here there's a hinge, but this is a ball joint up inside this leg cuff. And so you can actually rotate it up in the leg as well as down here at the ankle, the foot area. So be careful, you can get these things kind of slightly off. So when you go to hinge up and down, but you really can't anyway. Uh, it can do some really weird directions. Finally, the toe has a hinge. I still can't believe that leg snapped off. Guess uh, Jazzwares is going to be hearing from me uh, pretty soon. It's a great figure, though. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the articulation, provided all the limbs are intact of both of these figures. <laughs> Let's see. Um, hmm. Can I just do that? We'll just kind of prop him up back here, maybe. Can we do that? There we go. He is propped up. Uh, we're leaving your jacket on. I think it was the curse of taking the jacket off or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, anyway, so that's about all I got for you today. So the overall thought is the original wild card figure was a really cool figure and really great for pictures and customizing into other things. Um, because of the white suit, these two figures look really cool, and with the new paint scheme, I think they look even better. The interesting thing about Wildcard is that it feels like you need four bodies because of all of these faces. You get all these faces, you kind of want a body so you can have, like, the whole crew. And this is a double agent, so, like, you need a whole ghost crew and a whole shadow crew. Although, who knows about the leg, the shadow crew may all need crutches as well. So anyway, I might have to pick up a few more of these if I see them on sale or maybe even discounted. I don't usually uh, roll that way. I usually pay full price just because to me that's supporting the line. If a company has, if you buy too much on sale or disc, well, sale is one thing, but discount or clearance, then you're not going to be buying things for very long because the line will end. But anyway, so yeah, I might have to pick up a few more of these at some point just to fill out the wild card gang. So this is a very cool set. I wish Jazzers would have, would be able to sneak in another duo mode. I don't think that's possible, but it'd be really cool to have some more multi-packs like this before the end of the year. Anyway, now it's your turn. What do you think about this set? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and on your way out, check out my review of Oro in the lower left corner, because he's gold too. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere. It really does help the channel. I will see you in the next video.